Today we're testing cheap products against expensive ones. Let's talk about it. Good mythical morning. Quick heads up, next week marks the start of our spring break. Yes. That's when we move to our Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday what? schedule. Yes, Saturday we're bringing Good Mythical Weekend back. Every Saturday featuring your favorite crew members playing some brand new, very different games this year. Changing it up a little bit. Okay. Experimenting with some things. I'm excited about it. All right, so no Tuesday, Thursday episode next week. Mm -hmm. All right, now a few months ago, we definitively proved that the more expensive product isn't always the best product mm -hmm. when we mercilessly pummeled a $150 water bottle to death. Yeah, we're still not sorry about that. Nope, not at so all. So today we continue our quest of helping you determine when and where to use your hard earned money by potentially pummeling more items with bricks, I hope. Yes. It's time for The Power of the Price. Link, do you know what these are? Juicers! They're juicers. Yeah! I've never used a juicer! I've never juiced anything either. Because I, I just thought juice came in cartons. Uh, well, it comes from fruits? It, yeah, it, it comes from fruits and then goes into cartons. Uh, we each have a little uh, glass. That's nice, and I assume it goes here and then, wow. So, oh, look at that. Would you like me to juice uh, this one first? Yeah, let me see that. Black juicer, oh. and then a oh. chrome juicer. Oh, oh, oh! That seemed effortless. Now, well, you're doing a little effort. Hey, if this is making you horny, uh, <laughs> and I realize it might be, remember, very important announcement. You mean doing this makes you... This is celibacy week, people! Celibacy week. Do not make a baby this week because it will be born at a time when the gifts need to be Christmas gifts, not birthday gifts and you'll ruin their life, so don't make them this week. Don't make a Christmas baby. Divert your attention elsewhere. If you get horny, pull out the juicer. Just don't pull out your juicer. <laughs> I've never called it that. Well, it, it was a good name for it. Yeah. How did you feel about that? I you actually wanna tell it, me? I felt great about it. Oh, mine doesn't. Oh, I gotta push. Hold on, yours goes hard. Did you have to push yours, hard? It makes a different sound. Your spins faster than mine. I mean, spin, oh, your spins faster and it's metal. Let me. I need to feel both of them though. Look what I'm making here, Link. I need to feel. I've got nested citrus. Once this one's harder You're to push down. You're completely missing the glass on that side. Oh really? I, I think that there might be another piece. What? There's got to be another piece required. So, uh, oh, that. That was upside down, I think. Yep, that was it. Ha! I fixed something <laughs> that I didn't break. <laughs> did you see that? Did and you it see was, that, Caitlin? It was so easy to fix it, too. So that. what did you think when you were juicing both at the same time? Well, that this, this one uh, requires less effort. Really? I'm That's just telling you. The exact opposite of what you said at the beginning. Yep, but I thought about it more and I came to a conclusion. Well, let's I'm, taste our citrus I'm a, juice. I'm gonna try lemons too. I mean, you try it. Push on both of these. That's only fair. I'm not gonna make eye contact with you because I don't want you to get too horny when I do this. You should make eye contact with the oh, glass. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I. That's what I get for trying to not make you have sex. Okay. All right. I love celibacy week. It's the most fun week of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Ironically, uh, let's taste this. First of all, I'm sorry about. I was that. like, "Where's my juice?" But there it is. <laughs> okay. Wow. Oh, that's so good. That's juice. It's missing something. Though, it's missing know? something. I think it's uh, onions. I don't know why they gave us these, but I think it's to juice them. Who can juice an onion better? Oh, 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 look what happened, look, look at that, look. Do you see what happened, it grabbed it. Oh, that's wild. <laughs> it's not that wild. <laughs> yeah, well, that's how I said it. Hold I on, said look, wild, but I look didn't what, Look it. what happens, it actually, it grabs onto my onion skin, and look at that. It, it's like, an onion skin look, peeler. Look, I can do this, and look, nothing's happening, because it's just rotating, look. Okay, okay. Oh, it goes both ways. Did you know that? Don't do that on celibacy week either. Okay. Okay. Um, cheers. 
Let's get a little onion and let's make our decision about which one. It's a spot, actually. It's a. It was still enough juice that uh, the onion was okay. But don't you hit that spot. <laughs> it's right. celibacy. We. I'm right. sorry. I'll, I'll, I'm going to stop at some we're, point. We're ready, Stevie. Okay. Hands over what you think is the more expensive juicer in three, two, one. One. It's got to be this. This. The, it's metal. The chrome. It's metal. I mean, it's got to be the metal, right? You are correct. Yay! The more expensive juicer was on Link's side. The cheaper juicer on Rhett's side is a Cuisinart juicer for twenty nine ninety five. So, how much is the one on Link's side? Twenty nine thirty dollars. I mean, it did the job. I don't know if I want to. And it's, this one's bigger, but it required less effort. Okay. Oh, it's four times as heavy. Okay. How much is the more expensive one above thirty dollars, Rhett? Eighty nine ninety nine, friend. Right. Uh, I'm gonna say sixty nine sixty nine. But it, I, hey, oh, 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 don't you do it? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're talking about. You're talking about seaweed. <laughs> okay, the expensive juicer on Link's side is a Smeg juicer for a hundred and ninety nine dollars. Whoa, that's a two hundred dollar juicer, dude. Okay, it was. It didn't make me that much hornier than that one. But so. it's probably gonna last forever. You know what I'm saying? Well, who are we to say? I, I mean, how often do you juice if you juice? I don't know how often I would juice if I juice. You juice for- I would say every day, maybe. Uh, for a week, and then for the next month, you juice once a month, and then you put it in the cabinet, and you forget about it forever. Okay, you're right. So, juicers, no, no dice. dice. Hey, when you're done with this, go over to the Mythical Kitchen channel and watch the latest Last Meals episode. WWE superstar and friend of the show, mm -hmm. Becky Lynch is over there having an existential wrestling crisis. <laughs> yeah, she eating is. Eating her favorite foods. Mythical Kitchen channel, when you're done here, Last Meals. We have two scented candles. We have been told that they are similarly scented. That's not how it's said. Similarly though. scented. Similarly scented. They are similarly scented. Similarly scented. Okay. And they, the packaging is either the same or obstructed by a yeah. box. They don't both come in little cute boxes. The boxes have been put on there to throw us off. So, Ling, I'm going to light this one. Oh, light it up. This is cheap. <laughs> you, you have to suck on it first. You have to prime it. There you go. Uh, so, how, so, give me on a scale of one to ten how it lights. Because okay. you're close to it. I'm going to give it a... Oh, Ooh, that is nice. <laughs> I'm going to give that a 10. Now do it to that one. Because you see how I pulled away right when I thought maybe I wouldn't have I didn't it. think it was going to light, but then it was lit. Three, two, one. Pull away. Nope. Nope. Oh, okay, oh, there's an okay. indication. There you go. This one's got a hard, a hard to light wick. Oh, oh, cheap wick. Cheap wick. This wick was just begging to be lit. Okay. Um, Let's give yours a little smell. I mean, we got to... As it started melting some of the wax, don't breathe I'm, in the flame. Right at this point, I'm just smelling the huh. the wick. Oh, <laughs> well, Dude, watch this! Watch this! Oh, I love doing that. <laughs> that was great, Red. Yeah, man, Have that was seen, great. Y'all ever seen that? Um, Go down to smoke like that. Your your flame is bigger, but your wick was bigger mm. on the candle mm. only. Say that again. We, we got to wait for these to burn down and. Um, so that we can actually smell can. Oh, can we do a clock wipe? Wow. <laughs> Welcome have, back. Things have really changed in here. Uh, these candles have burned down a little. We got a little impatient, but uh, there is a little pool of candle wax there. Do you even know what scent that is that it's similar to? <laughs> it's, it's like a country vanilla, you know? What? It, oh, this one's, this one's more parfum. Well, okay. it's going this way. You though. know what my granddad always said: when evaluating how this good a candle is, you should establish its smell radius. Smell radius. Yeah. Okay. So we'll keep this simple. I'll measure you smell. Your nose is the constant in this. Okay. So I want you to move back, and you tell me when you stop smelling that. I'm gonna follow the stream of. It's going this way. Why are you going that way? Because this is the way that it's going. But now you're moving into the other candle. Come on, hey. Yeah, but that candle's going that way, trust me. This is it. This is where it is. This is as far as I can smell. I think you're smelling the other candle. I'm not! Move back. Trust me, I'm following I'm following the scent of the candle. Move back. There, there's, Move back. A, there's a draft in here. Oh, now it's going this way. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, all right, there it is. I've lost it. 
Right there, I have it. I lost it, I have it. 22 and a half inches. Okay, and then this one? This one? You're going a different direction. It's the, okay, right here. Okay, I've lost, nope. Here it is, it's over here now. Okay, I've, uh, I've, lo I've lost it. I have it, I've lost it. Have it, lost it, have it, lost it. 20 and a half. A little bit less. This has got more of a radius, but this has got a two inch bigger radius. Okay, we are ready. Okay, hands over the more expensive candle in three, two, one. Oh, we disagree. You I baited me. I think the expensive ones, it's more precise. It's more precise, it's more concentrated. The more expensive candle is on Link's side. Yes, it, the scent is not as strong, but the but it carries a little further. The cheaper candle on Rhett's side is an eight ounce candle from Etsy seller Lulu Sugar for 1920. So how much do you think the candle on Link's side costs? Hmm. 19, this is just a person on Etsy? Yep. 1920. Two inch larger radius. It's a bigger out of 20, candle. It's about 10% larger smell radius. If we do the uh, proportional smell radius, then we're not talking very much more expensive. But candles can get crazy. Candles can get really expensive. The margins on candles these days. Just stupendous. All right. Go ahead. Uh, I think it's $38 and a cent. I said it was $34.99. The expensive candle on Link's side is a Santal 26 candle from Le Labo, which will run you $84. No, uh-uh, uh-uh. What in the crap? Blow it out and save it. $84. Oh, Santal. Santal. Santal and 26? It, what, 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 the label? Candles are a lot, of, all about branding, brands. You this know? is like a, a lab development label. This is like, it's still under construction. They're still developing this thing. It gives you- It's like anti-design. It, right, it gives you a sense that like scientists came up with this. But it does say bougie parfumé on it. Oh, bougie parfumé? That's what you're, I mean, yeah, it better be bougie parfumé if you're paying over $80 well, for this thing. Let me Give smell me a break. Side now. Candles aren't good for you in general. Yeah, candles are bad for you. You so shouldn't be doing scented candles. You're gonna be paying more for something that's, I don't know, it's like, it's, it's basically like manufactured secondhand smoke. Well, let's not, let's not say things that we can't back up. Okay, yeah, we never do that. <laughs> candles, no, no dice. dice. We've got too many exercise trampolines. This is still a thing? I thought this was the 80s. Let's I mean, start they still on that make one. them. They still this make one's them. taller. This one's greener, shorter. and it says "bacon" on it. This one says "nothing" on it. Is Yours that a sign? has springs. Mine has uh, like a newfangled rubberish thing, like bungees. <laughs> Hi, Link. Hi, Red. Hm. What are you doing today? Jumping. I'm jumping too. Let's jump together. Jump, jump, jump. Would you like to switch? Switch. switch. Oh. Oh, oh God. Oh. Is that one bouncier? It's a little taller than I expected. It's firmer. This one's lower and more mechanical feeling. Would you like to switch? Switch. <laughs> oh. As I return to this trampoline link, I realize that it's not as nice as the one you're on. <laughs> this one feels nicer. But should we, we double up? <laughs> oh, should we? Should we treat it as if we are one big man? <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> we are one big man. One big man. One big man. One big man who jumps. Okay, now let's, should we go to the other one? <laughs> we, are, we are one big man who jumps. Oh, one big man. One big man, one very one big, big man. man. One big man, one very big man who jumps. <laughs> Who jumps? who jumps? One big man, one very, very big, big man, man who jumps. Who jumps? Who jumps. <laughs> one big man. Okay. Are we done? Okay. Oh. Whoa, what happened to the skirt? <sighs> what happened to the skirt? <sighs> the big man screwed it up. Okay. <sighs> Please place your foot over the trampoline you think is more expensive in three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> One big man with two little feet. <laughs> You're both correct. 
Cat. Yes. The cheap trampoline on the left is from a brand called Anwick for $35. How much do you think the expensive one was? $35? Well, a big man can jump on it. And if you didn't jump on that one, you might not know the difference. Uh, uh, dude, this thing was about to fall apart. But it didn't. When we were the big man, I felt very unsafe. unsafe. $35. Okay. Um, hey, big man. Oh. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna... Hmm. hmm. All right. You ready? I said $129.99. I said $112. The expensive trampoline that Link is on is from a brand called Beacon, and it sells for $109. Dollars. Oh, yes. dang! Yes. You got it on the I am all mode. over it. I am a super shopper, and I have Ugh. won this game. But the more important question is, is this more expensive one worth that much more money? Almost four times. Link, I'm sorry, man. I'm a big man. There's this would not last in my house. And there's safety involved in this. So finally, we are saying that something, and it's the trampoline, is worth the price. price. What do I win? Expensive post tag. Oh, look at that. Cheap oh, cheap host. Ha ha ha. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. And not bumping uglies. <laughs> you know what time it is. Hi, my name is Maggie. I'm from Titusville, Florida. That's the Falcon 9 rocket in my backyard. And now it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Well, it's technically not in your yeah, backyard. It's kind of in the uh, in your backyard. Sky. <laughs> but we get it. Yeah, we understand. Click the top link to watch us guess how many members belong to the weirdest subreddits in Good Mythical Morrow. And if I don't know where the Will of Mythicality is going to land. <laughs> Screw you, Rhea Ripley. <laughs> she said, I, I'm not complicit in this. I just, I'm soft. I have back and shoulder injuries. Just, you know. Be complicit. Be complicit. I got gotcha. you. I don't want to get involved in it. I got gotcha. you. I got the. 